we're going to introduce you to one of the stars of a, a film called My Sister's Quinceañera, Becky Garcia. Becky, thank you for being with us here today. Thank you for having me here. So tell me, how did you and your family get involved in this project? Well, Aaron Johnson, the director of the film, um, came to Muscatine, which was originally his hometown, and was going to do an acting workshop. And he wanted some people to come, and he wanted Mexican Americans to come, his, you know, Hispanics. And uh, he asked people in the community who they would recommend. And uh, I've always been active in the community. He had people, eight people, recommend me. So he got a hold of me and invited me to come to the workshop, and I went. And from there on, that's how it went. So the story of my sister's quinceañera, it's, is it based on your real life and your family? It's close to reality. It's fictional, but has a lot of my real life in it. Um, my daughter, Samantha, is the co-star in it, and I invited her on the second day to the workshop, and she got the second leading part in it. So, but yes, it is, it's fictional, but it is based on a lot of my real life. So you really are a single mom of, of six? Yes, I am. Wow, okay, perfect. And so, how close would you say the movie is to real life? It ho hit home pretty close. When I watched the film, I think of my son Lionel, who would play as Silas in the film. Um, it made me cry a lot. It, it's, it's true. It, it's a battle. He helps me out a lot. Without him, I didn't know what I would do. So, yeah. Well, now we're going to show uh, our audience the trailer for the movie so they can see for themselves. We got two weeks to go. We have to get this done perfect. This is my reina's night. And I don't want anything to mess it up, okay, everybody? Let's cheer for Elizabeth! What do you like about here? The cold winters and the hot summers. Instead of that. Yeah. Do you have something right here? Ah! No! Yeah. You think you'll live here forever? Yeah, I'm gonna get married here. So do you think you're gonna live here? Probably not forever. Why not? I've done everything I need to here. Clip party. <laughs> Jacob. Sorry to trick Cecilia. Jacob just bit her. You told your mom you're going to leave? I haven't really told anyone. El borracho. Besides, if we move out, we'll probably end up back in Muscatine anyway. That's how it always ends. People will leave for a year or two and come back and then live here for forever. Maybe we'll be the first, you know? There we go, double play. Beautiful. They're not catching. If you think too long about it, your decision's pretty much gonna be made for you. You're gonna miss the start of school and you ain't gonna be able to go. So let me read just some of the accolades for this film. My sister Skinksanieta had their world premiere last year as an official selection at the Rotterdam International Film Festival in the Netherlands. C huge honor. And last summer it was featured at the Los Angeles Film Festival and the Landlocked Film Festival in Iowa City where it won the award for Best Narrative Feature. My Sister's Quinceañera was screened at the MoMA in New York in the program Best Film Not Playing in a Theater Near You. And the film won the Special Jury Prize at New York No Limits Film Series Summit 2013. And then the director, Aaron Douglas Johnston, a native of Muscatine, was nominated for the Someone to Watch Award for the 2014 Film Independent Spirits Awards. So this is the, not just a film. This is a true independent film that has captured its audience, I mean, obviously, all over the world. Do you know when it will be available for people to watch on iTunes or something like that? We were hoping it would come out this year, um, or last year, I should say. And um, but it's it's doing so well in the film festivals, and, and until it's finished in that in that section, it won't come out. It won't be available until okay. then. So, but hopefully this year. It'll just keep getting awards, it, it's, though. It's, that's a good it's thing too. Doing great. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's doing really good. And have you kept in touch with Aaron Douglas Johnson, the director? We keep in touch by phone when he's in town. Um, he, they come and visit him and the crew that, that did it. They've come back twice since then, and they've come to visit us at the house and 
we, we've gotten to be close and we uh, we keep in contact through Facebook. So yes, we do. That's awesome that you've been able to build that relationship. So are you still doing acting? Are you still a student of acting? After I did the, the film, um, I tried out for a play in college and I got the leading part, so that was great too. That was fun. What it was, was fun. it? What uh, play? It was uh, called Slugs and uh, I was uh, the supervisor of the law firm that I worked at in, in the play. It was fun. That's awesome that you've been able to continue that. Well, thank you, Becky, and I can't wait to get a copy of whenever it comes out of my sister's quinceanera. Thank well, you so much. Thank you for having me.